reading. Oh, of course, you're, you're saying, well, you're a master student. You're supposed to be reading and writing. I understand that, but I meant, you know, I was sort of wasn't reading my discipline thing. I was reading some other stuff. And uh, one thing I came across was um, there's this brother, it's a chief from Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wants to uh, initiate, start an online encyclopedia that will serve as a repository for the continents, like, you know, traditions and cultures. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the things he says is, uh, for instance, like, uh, we have a multitude of uh, more than 2,000 languages in Africa. Yeah. That's a lot. Mm. And, but, but this brother is saying that, you know, uh, about every two weeks a language dies. Mm. <laughs> every two weeks a language dies. That's, that's, mm. a, that's a heavy thing. Anyway, uh, now if, if, if we don't sort of capture tradition, then language dies, that means culture dies, you know, like it means a whole bunch of things. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, what interests me about this is that uh, a while ago, this, this, this cat, uh, Edward Snowden, you know, he released a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, the powers that be or are, whoever they are, didn't, didn't particularly like. You know? mm. But then, you know, he had a lot of information there. But one thing that struck me, looking through all that, I was trying to attack this dude and all the rest of this stuff. And I understand that's, that's I won't say it's fair, but that's what happens. But what, what's more interesting to me is that it, people weren't really paying attention to what the dude was saying. They were more interested in the dude. You know, those guys broke somebody's law or whatever they was doing on whatever it was. But what struck me when it first came out is that they showed a map of all the places where the, this American agency was spying on, you know. And you had your regular way, like, you know, states, and you had, like, Germany, and uh, Japan and South Korea. But I was noticing in Africa, they had Kenya. And I'm looking, thinking, well, maybe they would have South Africa or whatever. They had Kenya. Well, what's going on with Kenya? Then I realized what was really happening was that Kenya has just built a whole technological city. Mm -hmm. Computers was like sophisticated. So basically, they were saying that, that that they basically infiltrated this new technological city they was building right outside in Nairobi, and and like if something happens, they would know ahead of time because they hooked up as they they hooked the thing up. I mean, they the ones that started this technological city, you know, and all this. So I said, okay, fine. So now I'm reading about this Cameroon, you know, chief, and he wants to start this thing. And so dutifully, what did I do? I'm supposed to be a research kind of guy, so I, I tried to type into the URL, you know, the, the www.atoe.org is the address for this, you know, African Traditions Online Encyclopedia. That's, I guess, what this is what A-T-O-E stands for. And I type in the thing, mm. and it's, 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 it goes to the thing that says, uh, this domain is for sale if you want to buy it or whatever have you. you got to go through some you know, some European dude. And I'm going like, I put this together, maybe it's just because now I'm doing this weird um, massive research or whatever, I'm going like, wait a second. So this whole spying thing had nothing to do with them trying to listen in on me and my kind of telephone conversation, blah, blah, blah. They couldn't give a fig <laughs> leaf about, you know, about me sitting at you know, some African university trying to get a degree. This stuff is about commerce, about about you know, if you if you can spy and see what the competition, what the what the business is going to do, well, you can jump in and claim that thing before they can get off the ground. I think they call it trolling too. You can troll, and you know when you invent something and you start putting it on, you know, you say something about it, they find out what you're doing, and they they grab it. I got someone who would do. So now it makes perfect sense to me why you would spy and because it's about the money, like everything these days, it's about some sort of, I mean, take away, take away your economic stuff. 
And you know, when you take away somebody's economic stuff, well, you, you're basically putting them into a box, you know? Mm. And then they start getting crazy. I mean, they, they can't think straight. They, they lose their humanity. They lose their connection to them. I mean, because if I ain't got nothing, then you see somebody else got something, then you want to take that. Now, if you want to take it from somebody, that means that you have no humanity, no empathy for that person that you've taken it from. Mm. So I'm just saying, if we keep on going in the system the way it is, whatever it is, we suck. Because, <laughs> I mean, to be human means you've got humanity. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, maybe I'm wrong with that, but that's what this means to me. Mm. And so since the game is rigged, as they say, you know, this is, you know the game is rigged. Mm. The game is rigged not for somebody's advantage to me. This is my number. I'm just an audio dramatist, so I'm not going to be speaking like you know a bunch of other people. To me, the game is rigged for us to lose our humanity, to become what? When you lose your humanity, what are you? Are? Just a common, you know, something. So I don't admit, maybe I'm wrong, but that's that's wrong. It's sad, man. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, and even if you didn't want to become a part of it, <laughs> everybody else is vamping on you, P-R-E-Y-ing you, pre-praying on you. Mm -hmm. So you, the most you're going to pray back. <laughs> um, I, mean, maybe I don't know, this, this has been one of those dispatches from the arts director and artist that, that would be me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed, letting you know where I only suspect.